we're asked to determine f prime of x and f prime of negative two, given f of x equals the cube of x cubed minus five x squared plus four. Notice f of x is a composite function, and therefore we'll have to apply the chain rule to determine the derivative function. Also notice how the inner function, often referred to as u, is x cubed minus five x squared plus four. So if we have u equals x cubed minus five x squared plus four, when applying the chain rule, we will need to determine u prime, or du dx, which is equal to the derivative of x cubed minus five x squared plus four with respect to x, which is three x squared minus 10 x. So now we can just think of the function f of x as u to the third and differentiate with respect to x using the power rule with the chain rule. Looking at our notes on the right, the derivative of u to the power of n with respect to x is equal to n times u to the power of n minus one times u prime, which indicates that f prime of x is equal to three u squared times u prime, but of course you want the derivative in terms of x. This is equal to three times the square of u, which is the square of x cubed minus five x squared plus four, and then times u prime, where u prime is the quantity three x squared minus 10 x. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. Notice how three x squared minus 10 x does have a common factor of x. So let's write the derivative function as f prime of x equals three x, and then factoring x out of three x squared minus 10 x leaves us with three x minus 10. And then we have the square of the quantity x cubed minus five x squared plus four. So this is the derivative function. And now we want to determine the derivative function value f prime of negative two. To do this, we substitute negative two for x. f prime of negative two is equal to three times negative two times the quantity three times negative two minus 10 times the square of the quantity, the cube of negative two minus five times the square of negative two plus four. And now let's begin to simplify. F prime of negative two is equal to, well three times negative two is negative six, and then we have times the quantity three times negative two minus 10. Three times negative two is negative six, minus 10 is negative 16. And then we have times this quantity that's squared and the quantity is the cube of negative two, which is negative eight, minus five times the square of negative two, which is four plus four. And again, this quantity is squared. Continuing to simplify, we have negative six times negative 16, which is positive 96 times Inside the parentheses here, we have negative eight minus 20, which is negative 28, plus four, which is negative 24, giving us the square of negative 24. And the square of negative 24 is equal to 576. F prime of negative two equals 96 times 576. F prime of negative two is equal to 55,296. I hope you found this helpful.